Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Jonathan Cohn, and today I have my book review of the book My Enemy, My Ally by Diane Duane. This is one of the numbered uh, pocket books uh, for Star Trek. Um, it is number 18. Uh, it features uh, the, the crew of the Enterprise and also has a, uh, a focus on the Romulan characters, um, which I find very fascinating. Apparently, this actually starts a series of books that all have the Romulan characters like this. And uh, this was a book that I was recommended uh, not only by people uh, that I know, but also specifically from some big YouTubers who are like classic Star Trek fans, people who were fans of Star Trek like back in like the 60s and 70s. And uh, they said that this was one of like the classic novels that really is really valuable and, and really well worth it. Um, and so I picked this book up at a used bookstore for really cheap. You can tell it's very much falling apart. Um, uh, it's all turning yellow and all that stuff. But I picked it up because I was interested in the book. And it actually tells a delightful story. This, the premise of the book is that this uh, Romulan uh, commander by the name of Ale, she has a much longer name, but I'm not going to pronounce it on here, but Ale, she uh, is doing her job commanding the warbird, the um, Bloodwing, and she discovers that the Romulan leadership has a planet where they're doing uh, experimentation on Vulcans. They're going out capturing random Vulcans from across the galaxy, bringing them in and doing experimentation on them to try to create like a super Romulan type thing. They want to get take the, the powers of the Vulcans and turn them into the Romulans. Uh, well, uh, she doesn't like this. She feels it's inhumane. Well, it's not really humane, but you know what I mean? She feels it is wrong for the, for the Romulans to be doing this. And so she does what used to be unthinkable. She betrays her people and she contacts the crew of the Enterprise and convinces them to help her destroy the facility and save the Vulcans who are being experimented on. And as you might expect with any book like this, hijinks ensue. And, uh, it's just, it's a delightful story. To, uh, you, you get a, a lot of insight into Romulan culture, which I was told doesn't line up with Romulan culture that you read about in the next generation storytelling, but it actually fits surprisingly well, um, uh, down to the fact that they mention Romulus and Remus, which I thought was, I, I always thought Remus wasn't even mentioned until Nemesis, but apparently Remus is mentioned here. Um, but it's like literally just like an offhanded, they just say Romulus and Remus. Um, but uh, what I really liked about this book was it felt like a thriller. It felt like a fun adventure romp. Uh, this doesn't have quite necessarily like the weird aliens per se, although there are a few weird aliens present, but it's not the focus of the book like some Star Trek books. This is a thriller. This is a enemy of my enemy is my ally. And uh, this is a story where Kirk has to put aside his prejudices about the Romulans and the Romulans to put against their, put aside their prejudices about the humans and, and the Federation in order so they can work together to stop the evil experimentation. And it's just, it's, it's a delightful, fun read. It's, it reads fairly quickly. Um, uh, there's some great humor between Kirk and Spock and McCoy, uh, particularly with McCoy. McCoy is always the funniest one. And then there's also some great insight into like how to deal with racism and how to deal with other militaries and your enemies. And there's lots of themes about what a Cold War is like um, that we get to explore and what it's like to change alliances. Like, all those themes are actually really well developed in the book. Now, there were certain things that they could have gone deeper on. The action sequence at the end was fairly bland and the villains in the book were abysmally bland. Like the villains are almost non-existent. You may as well have not had villains in the book. So many other Star Trek books do villains better. Um, so the villains were not the strong suit. Despite that, it's still a delightful, fun little read. And so I'm very happy that I did read it and I think it will work uh, well. In, and when I think about it in the Star Trek continuity, I give it a... 7 out of 10. Like, it was a solid read. It's not the best, but it's a solid read. I enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to reading more classic novels and newer novels from Star Trek. So if you've read My Enemy, My Ally, let me know your thoughts about it in the comments section down below. And please subscribe to the channel for more Star Trek videos, for Star Trek reviews and rankings and whatnot, and other book reviews and rankings. And until next time, I'm Jonathan, and thank you for watching.